Good morning, Nova, and welcome to Tuesday's edition of the Cat's Eye News. I'm Tom Masuda. And I'm Aaron Helbeth. For fans of the hit television show Shark Tank, they'll be pleasantly surprised with the addition of the Novi Incubator class. This class focuses on business by students, this year pitching their products to Macy's at 12 Oaks Mall. The future entrepreneurs recently launched their product last Monday with on-purpose socks for kids and Sketch and Hatch. Here's more. This massive piles of boxes of colorful socks and books hit the shelves of Macy's at 12 Oaks on Monday. These unique products were designed, produced, and launched by the Novi Incubator students. Many people, ranging from Novi Elementary students to Congresswoman Haley Stevens, attended the event. I think it's a, a great opportunity for our students. They, they learn how to put a lot of the things that they've been learning in other classes together and uh, developing a product, communicating about it, working with other people, developing those collaboration skills and communication skills and, and really figuring out how to make things work. This year, Novi District and Macy's donated $10,000 to expand this program to Fortson High School in Dearborn. It was amazing to hear about. I was super happy that schools are doing this. And then when I heard that our principal, Ms. Alcadre, was pushing for it, and that Novi and Macy's helped us, I loved it. This is a great way to push students for creativity, business, and actually seeing how the real world works. This is Tamo Masuda from the Cat's Eye News. In national news, with the 2020 primaries just around the corner and with President Donald Trump's impeachment trial, this has many voters feeling the almost palpable political tension. With such a historical event happening recently, it's easy for some students to feel overwhelmed. What was the impeachment process and why was it so important? Here's reporter Lisa Hoy with more. Do you solemnly swear that in all... The impeachment process has been on everyone's minds for the past few months, but how does this complicated process start? Well, it starts with members of, simply put, members of the majority party in the House of Representatives. If they feel like an officer of government like the president has committed an impeachable offense, then they would recommend through a committee process that the House bring impeachment charges against the president. In this case, if you look at the Constitution, it essentially says that people in our government can be impeached for bribery, treason, and high crimes and misdemeanors. What does that mean exactly? High crimes and misdemeanors? Now, that's very subjective, so it's up to that majority party to decide what that means. The impeachment process basically starts in the House of Representatives. Uh, as laid out in the Constitution, the House has the sole power of impeachment, which means to bring charges against an officer of government. In this case, members of various committees, uh, if they're interested, can pursue writing articles of impeachment. It's pretty complicated, it's pretty complicated, um, but um, it originated from a phone call between uh, President Trump and, and the Ukraine president about, um, you know, the president wanted Ukraine to investigate um, the, the Bidens, uh, Joe Biden and his son, and there was like some aid that was that was passed by Congress was supposed to go to Ukraine, and that was being held up. So that when the Democrats saw this, they thought that was worth investigating. But what do our students think about this impeachment? Uh, the Trump, I don't know much about it, but my opinion on it is it's probably not worth it, considering that most people put it on the There is some stuff that he's actually done right, which is why it's probably not good to impeach him at this time. Demographically, within the United States, a majority of Americans want the president impeached. They want him out of office. And yet, the political elite in Washington are strong-arming what the people want. This was Lisa Hoy from the Cat's Eye News. In school news, today is the second day of You Matter Week. Today's theme is happiness, and there will be therapy dogs in the counseling office. Tomorrow's theme will be compassion. Make sure to wear blue tomorrow and stop by the auditorium tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for the Stanford clinical professor and a New York Times bestselling author, Dr. Doty's webinar. 
In club news, Japanese club will be having their Valentine's Day meeting today after school in room 247. They will be eating fruit, chips, and more through a chocolate fondue fountain. The entry fee is only $2, so come out and have a good time. All are welcome. The Creative Writing Club will also be having a Valentine's party today in Ms. Harrell's room, room 189. Everyone is welcome. The Student Book Club will be meeting this Friday, February 14th, after school in the Forum. They will be discussing the book, The Thousandth Floor. Everyone is welcome to attend. If you are interested in participating in the National Economics Challenge, stop by room 227 for information to sign up. The online qualification test is scheduled for February 20th at 2.15, and students must be registered by next Wednesday to participate. For those of you interested or those interested in buying it for themselves, roses, cards, and full-size chocolate, today is the last day to pre-order before Valentine's Day. A reminder that you must provide the desired person's AA to pre-order. Once you pre-order the items you want, they will be distributed during fourth hour on Valentine's Day to anyone you would like to send these Valentine specialties to. Remember to bring your money and student ID when you order. That's all for School News. Now to Alex for Sports Report. Thanks, Tomo. To kick things off, both the boys' and girls' varsity basketball teams are in action tonight as they both take on Canton. The girls are away and the boys are at home. Tip-off for both games are at 7. Go support your boys and go support your girls. In national sports, the Pistons fell to the Charlotte Hornets 87-76 to last night. In hockey, the Red Wings take the ice against the Buffalo Sabres tonight. The puck drops at 7. And to wrap things up in college basketball, Spartans are on the road as they take on Illinois tonight. Tip-off is at 9. That's all for sports. Now let's end it back to the desk. That's all for today. We'll see you on Thursday with another edition of the Cat Side News. I'm Aaron Helbeth. And I'm Tom Asuda. Have a great day, Novi.